With so many options on Amazon, my decision came down to these two screen protectors, which in my opinion are two of the best out there. On the left corner, we have the Spigen Glass TR Easy Fit Screen Protector. And fighting from the right corner, we have the Caseology Temper Glass Screen Protector. So we'll unbox these two starting with the Caseology Screen Protector. And I'm going to look at presentation, installation process, how it feels once it's installed, and how it looks once it's installed. Keep watching. Starting out with the Caseology Temper Glass Screen Protector. This screen protector has a 4.8 rating on Amazon and just like any other screen protector out there, it promises drop, scratch and dust resistance, as well as near perfect clarity. One thing we're looking for here is the design of the edges and cutouts, as well as the installation difficulty. The first thing we're looking at here is the installation frame, which looks promising so far but we'll give that a test and see if it really works. Next is the new squeegee design, which I personally like more, although I have a feeling we won't get to use it this time. Here we have the easy to read instructions. They provide the cleaning wipes, a soft cloth to clean the screen and a dust remover. This is the temper glass itself. Comes in with this protective bag. Very nice presentation so far. Now it's time to start the installation process and see how it looks and feels when installed. Very thin as you can see. Now let's pop this open and start cleaning the screen. Very good, just like that. It's very important that you remove all the dust particles out as much as you can. Now we're gonna place the alignment frame on top and make sure this is secure. We do not want this frame to slide off. Make sure you push it well. Now it's time to remove the back plastic off of our new screen protector. Now we're going to try to align it with the frame. As you can see, it's not an intuitive process and I'm having a hard time. It looks like I got it here, but it was definitely a pain. Push the bubbles out and let's wait for about two to four minutes. We'll come back soon. And we're back, folks, after two minutes. Let's see what we get. Let's remove the frame and remove the front label sticker. Wow, looking good so far. Let's clean it real quick with the microfiber cloth. Take a look at this beautiful creation. The curved edges look pretty good and you can barely see the screen protector. The clarity on this screen protector is very good, almost invisible to the eye. The position of the screen protector came out perfectly. I was afraid it was going to look bad since I didn't trust the frame as much and I feel like Caseology needs to work on this frame more. Look at how beautiful this looks. Now, let me test the screen with a little game of Clash Royale. I tried scratching the screen with no success whatsoever. It really is scratch resistant. Then I decided to move on to the hammer test. Just kidding, I would definitely not do that. Now let's move on to the Spigen Glass DR Temper Glass Screen Protector. Very nice presentation by Spigen as always. Let's open this up and see what's inside. A pair of cleaning wipes as well. These are the instructions. 
you get the same type of squeegee here. You also get two screen protectors in the box, just like in the Caseology screen protector. Let's pop this open and start cleaning our iPhone. Looking shiny. With Spigen, it's as simple as this. No need to worry about misalignment, just place the screen protector with the frame on top of the iPhone and now you push the bubbles out. Peel this sticker off and let's make sure all the bubbles are out. Let's peel the front plastic off and clean the screen. Look at this beauty, the edges feel very nice too. Let's turn the iPhone back on and take a look at how clear this looks. Let's put a case on and look how perfectly it fits with the case on. The screen works just fine and it looks really clear. I love the way this process was so simple and fast and the results are amazing with Spigen. Okay, so in conclusion after installing these two screen protectors, um, I didn't find many differences really. When it comes to the design, they were pretty much the same, you know. They look the same way when you install them and the feel is the same feel, you have the same transparency. Both of them are high quality screen protectors. The only thing that really changes and it's a little different is with the um, Spigen Easy Fit Glass TR screen protector. This one has a better, I guess, installing system. Uh, it's, a little, it's easier for sure and you're less worried about messing up. Uh, with this one here, I had a tough time putting it on. This one right here, it's really stable and then you you don't have to really calibrate the uh, you know the positioning of the screen protector it comes already with the frame so you just place the frame down and you slide and you push the screen a little bit and then you're all set so in my opinion they both offer the same quality of product the same protection I didn't do any realistic scratch test or drop test but because I didn't want to mess with my phone, but I'm assuming these two are, I mean, are good to go. These are a pretty good brand, so either one of these two would really do well on your phone. Uh, I just prefer this one. That's my opinion. Uh, and yeah, there's nothing else to say about them. There's two screen protectors. They're good, good brands. Yeah, stay tuned for uh, upcoming videos. I'm actually unboxing and reviewing some of the new tech that I got for the holidays. Uh, you know, some Razer mouse, some nice mechanical keyboard, I'm unboxing and reviewing a Apple Watch. So yeah, subscribe to the channel and then uh, so you don't miss out on any of these videos if uh, you find them interesting. Take care.